Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The Harvestist of Harvest Moons. Greetings, Stargazers. This show was produced before your favorite Stargazer, Jack Horkheimer, passed away on August 20th, but I'm sure he still wants you to know what's up in the night sky. The autumnal equinox will occur Wednesday night, September 22nd at 11.09 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and only six hours later, the moon will be full, which will make it this year's harvest moon, and along with it comes the great harvest moon illusion. But just what is a harvest moon anyway? Well, according to the dictionary, a harvest is the act of gathering in a crop, or the harvested crop itself. And for centuries, at this time of year across North America and Europe, the fall harvest took place. Now, traditionally, the full moon closest to the first day of fall, the autumnal equinox, is called the harvest moon. And since the autumnal equinox Wednesday night will be followed by the full moon only six hours later, this year we are following the lead of astronomer Fred Schaff and calling it the Harvestist Moon. The last time this happened was 1991, and the next time will be 2029. But there is more to a Harvest Moon than that, because even though there is only one official night of the Harvest Moon, the visual effects last for three nights, September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Now, Normally the moon rises about 50 minutes later each successive night, but the harvest moon rises only 20 to 25 minutes later each successive night. This is because the path of the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox makes a much smaller angle with the horizon than at any other time of year. Now, before the invention of electric lights, this was very important to farmers at harvest time because it meant that they could work after sunset for at least three nights in a row gathering in their crops by the bright light of the harvest moon. Today, mechanized farming is all done with artificial lighting, so that aspect of the harvest moon has lost its original significance. But what it will never lose is its incredible beauty in early evening, because for three nights we will see it rise just before or just after sunset, and all rising full moons always look much bigger and more colorful than when they're overhead. The reason the full moon looks more colorful as it rises is because we see it through thicker and dustier layers of our Earth's atmosphere than when it's overhead. Now, the reason the full moon always looks bigger when it's close to the horizon than when it's overhead is one of the grandest illusions of nature, which you can prove is an illusion yourself this Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Simply take a dime, hold it at arm's length when the harvest moon is close to the horizon just after sunset, and again when it's at its highest around midnight and you'll see that your dime will cover exactly the same amount of the moon. Wow! But an even more fun way to prove this illusion is to bend over at the waist and watch the rising harvest moon upside down between your legs because, bingo, it will instantly look smaller than when you look at it right side up. The reason for this is still being argued, but believe me, it's one heck of an illusion. So, don't miss next week's three nights of the harvest moon, and as Jack always says, keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.